So these gloves make snowballs, but I'm in California, so this is the best I can show you. It's Rachel. So it's that time of the year again where I make some DIY weird Christmas presents. If you've already spent all of your Christmas money that you're supposed to spend on presents, here's some DIY ones. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And comment down below which one of these Christmas presents are your favorite. Yeah, so let's get on with making the DIYs. First you need a glove or two, or three, or four. And then a hollowed out ball of some sort. Cut that ball in half. Poke two holes in the center of the ball. Then stick some yarn through those holes. Cut the fingers off one of the pairs of gloves. Then make two slits in the center of the glove. Then thread the yarn through the holes. And tie it. Then reinforce the ball with two more holes and yarn. Now take a hot glue gun and glue the sides of the circle down to the glove. Now take a whole glove and put on the circle gloves. You're gonna beat everyone in a snowball fight now. For the hamburger pillow, take a red shirt and cut a circle out of it. This will be the tomato. Then hot glue the sides down. and fill it with cotton. And your cheese with cotton, and your lettuce with cotton, and your hamburger, and the bun. Then finish gluing the sides down. Now print out a sesame seed bun onto transfer paper, and iron the picture onto it. Do the same with the tomato, and for the burger, use some black paint and blend it out to make the grill marks. Then, voila, you have a hamburger pillow. Can I throw one? <laughs> Now to make the pizza headphones, print out two small pieces of pizza. Cut out the pizza. And take popsicle sticks. Cut a triangle out of the popsicle stick. and put some Mod Podge onto the popsicle stick and stick the pizza onto it. Then paint the Mod Podge onto the pizza and the back of the popsicle stick and wait for it to dry. Now take a hot glue gun and hot glue the pizza onto the back of the headphones. And there you go! You hear pizza now! Or not! For the running fridge magnet, take some magnet paper, you can get these from the store, and first cut out the mouth shape. You can make lips too if you want. And draw two front teeth. And paint the rest black. Now 
Now draw the shape of running arms and running legs. Then cut them out. Now paint the black. And for the eyes, take giant googly eyes, or you can make your own eyes, and glue circular magnets behind them. And just stick them to the fridge. And give them to a friend that's fridge doesn't have this bar though. And bam! Now when somebody asks your friend if their refrigerator is running... Oh wait, that joke still doesn't work. For the squishy light bulb, take an empty bottle, clear school glue, and laundry detergent. Now pour all the clear school glue into the bottle, and add a dash of laundry detergent, and shake that up. And that's going to turn into slime. And take a clear balloon. Stick it to the top of the water bottle. Now put the slime into the balloon. And take an LED light and slip it into the balloon. And tie it up. Now for the bottom of the light bulb, I'm going to make it out of clay. And string. And paint. You'd think that the lines would make it easier to break them, but it doesn't. Ugh, oh, got it. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Now shape that clay into a ball and carve a little hole on the bottom. Now wrap the string around it to make the coils of the light bulb. And bake it in the oven for five minutes. And then only burn it a little bit after you put it in the oven. Paint silver onto it, then paint a black circle onto the top. Now take some double-sided tape and tape around the bottom of the balloon. Cut off the top of the balloon and then hot glue on the tape onto the inside of the clay. And now you have a squishy light bulb! If you haven't seen my previous two videos, click those down below. And subscribe right over here if you're not subscribed already. Okay.